Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Neculescu and welcome to another episode of Learning AI Path in 5 minutes. Today we'll talk about initialized variables. So when you talk about initialized variables, you have here activities like assign, multiple assign, which is very nice when you want to initialize multiple variables and so on. But today we'll, I want to talk about special variables. So we'll talk about list, dictionaries and data tables. Yes, so for example, for a list, if I want to de define a list, I will go here, I will write a name, and I will uh, go here and search for the list. So I will say low list and say he equal, uh, bigger. So and here I have to select the, uh, the object that is on the list. For example, in this case will be a string, yeah? So to be able to initialize this list, basically I can go here and say a new list of strings, yeah, because I have uh, uh, I have string object and I have to tell him that uh, this is a new list of strings. I can put the, the list name here and it's initialized. So I need to initialize the, the item before I work with the um, addition. So this is a din dynamical list where you can add uh, add, uh, add values dynamically using the functions or remove. Remember here on inside of your app, you have collection, collections, yeah, Co collection. You have add collection, delete collection, clear, exit, and so on. So to be able to have the variable ready to work with this one, you need to initialize. So you can initialize here inside of a sign before, or you can initialize the here by default to have um, uh, to have the variable existence. Okay. You can have also uh, arrays, yeah? So arrays here, when you define something, let's uh, define another variable. Here you have an array, yeah? Array of something, array of uh, integer, for example. Okay, yeah? So this is a list that it's already predefined. It's hard to add another val uh, value to this one. So basically you put some values by default and then you can access the values inside of your iPad using array item of blah, blah. So here, when you initialize, you put directly the values. Uh, for example, so here if I have five value, five values or four values or something like this, yeah? So here I put the values and then I will access them very, very fast. But I usually like to work with list that allow me to go dynamic. Now, after the list, the next one is dictionary. So basically if you want to create a dictionary, you go here, you write dictionary, dictionary, yeah? You select uh, a dictionary and you see here on the dictionary, you have two variables. You have the key variable and you have the, um, uh, the value variable, yeah? So here, for example, my, in this case, my key is string and um, uh, the value is integer. So to be able to initialize this one, I will say new dictionary, dictionary, yeah, of, and I will say string, because it was string uh, first one, and then the second one, the value was integer, yeah? So this is the way how I initialize the dictionary. Now, to work with dictionary, you have to go here on the uh, um, import the manager and say extension, 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 and you have to add this Microsoft extension activity. If you add this Microsoft extension activity, you will see that you will have here some activities directly for the dictionary, yeah? So you have add dictionary, clear dictionary, get the existing key and so on. So all the facility to work with dictionary. Good. The next step that I want to talk, it's about data tables. Okay, so when you define a data table here, you just define a data table. But for the initialization of the data table, um, I you have multiple options. So basically you can read the data table from, uh, from Excel or from CSV and you have the data table directly without any initialization. You don't need this because you get the um, uh, data by default. If you want to initialize something, basically you will go and build data table. So you go build data table and create your own data table with the columns that you want. So you want here uh, test, uh, it's a string. Then I want a number, a number, uh, it's an int and so on. So you can create your data table from here, yeah? And this will build your data table and then you write row on the data table. Or my way is this one. So for example, I read from Excel this data table and I want to make a result that it's in the same format. So it doesn't have the value. So I just read the data from here, but the result will be on the same format. So basically I read this one, this is data table. Then to be able to initialize a variable that it's a new data table, so you see it's a new data table and this new data table, I'll say data table clone. So data table clone basically will, um, uh, will keep only the, the columns, the, the name of the columns and the structure of the data table without any rows. So I will have a new uh, data table clean with the, the structure of the columns and the name of the columns. So these are the things that you need to do on the initialized special stuff. 
as usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel and comment on my movies and tell me what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.